it's bloomed. Yay! I've got a whole lot more raspberry spreads poked up too. Over there. So far over here, not much. And then that. Oh, she my head. <laughs> that little tulip plant over there has a bulb in it. So that'll be blooming. That'll be blooming sooner or later. Monday afternoon. This should be enough light still for me to be able to work in. Get that finished off. It's 3.30. <laughs> Day's just been moving on here, but I've still got the energy and I'm ready to do that. So here we go. Dun dun dun! All done! Big reveal. Turn it on. Wow! So nice. And clean. Yay! Well, bonus for me today. I just got a call from the doctor's office that for my CT scan tomorrow, I only need to drink 32 ounces of water and I can start that at home here before I go. And, uh, and I'm able to go to the bathroom. So unlike radiation where I had to drink almost that amount and hold it and not go, um, this one they're saying, yeah, drink that amount and then, but you can also, you can go to the bathroom in between. So that's nice, and it's not that I have to drink contrast once I get there, because I know they wanted me there a half an hour before time, which to me said then I would need to drink some contrast. But I just have to drink regular water, so yay! Happy about that! Also had the realization this morning that when I was in the shower, I thought the thing that I mentioned in the last video about how I like to hurry up and do things, <laughs> Uh, it kind of came to the, the forefront again today of being in the shower and wanting to hurry up and shave my legs. I thought, no, how about I slow down so that I don't cut myself. And then thinking, you know, I do that when I do dishes too. I try to like, you know, I'm hurrying up and washing the dishes and think, well, you know, a couple months ago when I was washing one of the pots, I think the washcloth had slipped off um, of where my fingers were. And as I was going around the outside edge of the pot, I ended up cutting my finger. So, I uh, <laughs> thought, yeah, I need to slow down, you know, can't hurry up and do dishes either, It'll slow down. So, I guess it's a new thing to uh, be conscious of <laughs> well, these days going forward of just um, slow down. Bars are cooked and cooling, so I am going to take a quick walk. All right, I'm get my quick walk in outside here. It's starting to cloud up. It's supposed to rain at some point today. I don't know when. I think in a couple hours. So I figured, well, perfect time to get out here. So my bars just got done cooking, so while they cool, I'll take my quick walk, and they should be cool enough to eat. So yay! The other reason, normally I film my food type videos on Mondays, but I wanted to get my chandelier clean, and I knew it was sunny yesterday. Like I said, I had to do that with the lights off so I could get my hands inside the chandelier. So I wanted to do that on a sunny day, knowing today would be a rainy day. Today would be a good day for doing some cooking. So, I'm baking. I baked some bars. They smell delicious, so I'm looking forward to tasting them and having some lunch. <laughs> That's the plan for now. I noticed the other day, looking out the window, that we've got blossoms on the tree. It's so pretty. They look and smell so good. Can't wait to taste them. Good morning. Today is Wednesday and it's like a quarter after eight. So today is my CT scan day. They wanted me to drink like 32 ounces of shove water. So I've got my liquid IV. I can drink uh, about one of these already. So that's nice. That's just water, not the contrast. So it's okay. Let's see how this is going. So far I'm doing pretty good. Drink lots of fluid. trust the schedulers on the phone saying I don't have to drink contrast. Mm. Wrong! <laughs> so, surprise! No, you have to drink some contrast. At least it's only one bottle. Last year, so when I was in here for my, my very first CT scan, I was supposed to have drunk two of these, of which I got one down. So, 
She said, we'll do the best you can. I'm like, I already drank a whole bunch on the way here. So we're doing our best. It's, it'll be okay. They moved us to a little waiting room. So we came from that way, came down the hallway and in here. So, good picture. And Wayne brought me, yay. We have some cute mother-in-law tongue there. That's it. Yeah. Door to somewhere else. But then when I'm ready, they're gonna take me and we're gonna go down that hallway. Right now, that's the bathroom, which is very nice. I'm using that a lot. <laughs> the elbow for the needle and that hurt and uh, it stayed hurting <laughs> but I didn't blow or anything so I still only had to get stuck once so that's good but kind of bad for the future of <laughs> future stickings that just had a little scar tissue in that area because it's been used so many times so we'll see that's it for today and next week when I go for the appointment and they have to get blood work done they'll use my port there and get that all flushed to make sure that's still working well that'll be okay Test went quickly, everything went well. I kind of, I could get my arms above my head, even my right arm. So that was good too, that, that wasn't painful. And yeah, CT scans are always very quick. It's like four times, I think, kind of in and out of the machine of holding your breath and then they do their scans. So um, with the appointment with the doctor being next week, she said it's plenty enough time for them to get the scan read. So I'll just keep checking on my live live well account and seeing um, when I see results. So that's today. Time to color my daughter's hair. Not really. We're going to bleach it. Oh, yeah. oh. Let's see. So I'm on his bleach. Yes. Or yeah, I'll bleach. So it shouldn't be too too harsh on the hair. Should do a good job. I think we used it before. So here we go. At PT. It's Thursday. It's another drizzly type day. Had some spots on the window, but it looks like the ground is wet here. It already rained. So we shall see what we do today. Still kind of like a little sore from this last week. Exercises were just a little more difficult, and my butt's been hurting all week. So we'll see what kind of exercises I get to do today. Um, it'll be good to have the belly rubbed and good to see what else we're gonna do. So, third Thursday in a row that it's a little bit drizzly, a little rainy. Let's we'll see if it's gonna rain anymore this afternoon, but maybe it's done. I'm gonna get a little walk in a little this afternoon. It is Friday, April 19th. It's my birthday today. Woohoo! Happy birthday to me. <laughs> a nice, beautiful, sunny day. It's windy out today, as usually happens after a day of rain. So I am on my way to pick up my birthday lunch. Mom bought us lunch from Panera, so I'm going to pick that up. And then on Sunday, the family will get together and we'll have lunch out at a restaurant. So that'll be nice. Celebrate then too. But anyways, I still have to give the update from what happened at PT. And then uh, my acupuncture appointment for today had been canceled, so I have a day off is okay because I've already been fairly busy this morning. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be busy all day with things to do. So that is the update for the moment. <laughs> I will do the rest of the update after I get home. See you then. Alrighty then, I will finish my update from my PT session from the other day. So that went well. I mentioned to Gina that I was um, still feeling a little sore kind of all week from doing all the exercises that I found them a little bit more challenging to do like, like my body was still like I said kind of sore from doing the exercises so I felt like I needed another week to kind of get past that point and make them feel a little bit more easy and she said yep yeah, that's that's good 
I said I did a lot this last week. You know, I did the weeding of the garden on Saturday and I wasn't that sore on Sunday, but that all went well. And then, what else? Yeah, I kind of, you know, I cleaned the chandelier on Monday. I colored my daughter's hair uh, the other day. So also I was, you know, standing for an hour for that. And so things, things are good. Um, also that my stomach was just a little more sore this week too. So she said everything sounds normal, it all sounds good, and like we mentioned that there's going to be times where, you know, the body is going to be more sore and there's going to be times when it's less sore. I said, yeah, I was thinking about that and how she had said that, and so I figured that's just where I'm at this week. And she said that's, that's fine, that's all good. So because of that she wasn't going to give me any more exercises to do, just that I keep up with what I've been doing. And she said, do, she's like, are you doing them every day? Are you skipping days or, or what and stuff? I said, yeah, well, this last week I actually like skipped two days. And she was okay, that's good too. You don't have to do them every day. So I feel bad when I don't do them every day that I feel like I haven't like gotten enough exercise in. We were going to then work more on my shoulder that day. She would do the, the stomach, abdomen rub and do a lot more on the shoulder. She said, and then maybe um, give me like a shoulder exercise to do that works more on like the rotator cuff. So something small. So that's what we did. She did the tummy stuff. Uh, I actually felt that a little bit more as she was doing it this time. It's been the most sensitive. And then she worked on my shoulder where again, she just kind of sits alongside of me and kind of like pulls it kind of out of joint type of set, you know, type of thing. <laughs> and then works on rotating it up and moving it for me, which again, when she does it, it doesn't hurt at all, which is very nice. And she said, well, again, trying to cha train the arm to know that this is okay. This is how we move and we do it without pain. <laughs> so we finished that. And then she brought in an, um, another band, which I forgot to bring my bands this time, whether that would matter or not. But doing what the red uh, stretchy band thing again, putting it in the door. And this time we put uh, a towel against my body so that the arm stays down, so the arm's not loosey-goosey flying around and hold that band and then pull it out as far as I can go until I feel pain and back again and do that 10 times and if I'm okay with that then do another set of 10. So I should feel the burning up here which I did. I also kind of felt it in the bicep a little bit and I felt it in the abs and she goes well then you're doing it right. <laughs> so I mentioned that how I've been doing the other exercises is I do put the one band in my bathroom door down here and I do the, the pullbacks, and then I do the legs around the, the, the band around the ankles, and do the side stepping, and then I usually do all the floor exercise stuff, and then I finish off with another set of the, the arm exercises and the band. And I mentioned how the outside of my hips are really sore after weeding on Saturday. I was already kind of feeling it in my thighs because I didn't bring my little cushy pillow to kneel on. And so Wayne um, took the massager to me. We have a, a big honking massager. Thing. So he massaged the back of my legs with that, which usually just makes me laugh. I know it's tight and all that, but it just kind of kind of tickles type of thing. It, it makes me laugh. Well, he hit some areas on the top of my butt or the outside that I actually was painful, where I was like, ow, ow. <laughs> and he was like, wow, okay, you've never said ow before when we've done this. It's always just you know, a, a kind of a hurt but makes you laugh. And I said, yeah, that's interesting that there was, that. and I know that's all that outer hip work. So we get into those muscles. And then on Sunday, I didn't really feel a lot of muscle fatigue or anything, which is good because usually after weeding, when it gets to my thighs, when I try to sit on the toilet, as you're going down, it's all, you feel that all in your thighs and it's painful. <laughs> and I didn't have that, I was good. So I thought, well, yay. My butt was still hurting and my abdomen area was still sore this week. So that's part of why I think I skipped exercising on Sunday because I was a little sore from the weeding. And then I think on Tuesday because Monday there again, I had one little small spot of blood in my pad when I wiped. And it was just the one that was it for the day again. I was good, but it's just been just a tad off. So, 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 so. <laughs> Uh, I'm aware of that and I keep trying to cut it out, but we'll see how it goes. That was the end of PT. That went well, I, so I only have the one exercise um, to add to my routine. And uh, the skies kind of turned a little sunny. I went to Walmart, did a little shopping, 
uh, the group that I talked about, the K-pop group, TXT, is going to be on some cereal boxes like Recess Puffs and Honey Nut Cheerios and Cinnamon Toast Crunch and something else. Uh, one of them, uh, the Recess Puffs, are exclusive to Walmart. The other boxes should be sold at the other stores. But I thought, well, I'll go there and see if I can find them all and buy one box of each. So <laughs> I can also give some to my daughters because they like that group and will have cereal to eat. Uh, they did not have them though. The like Cheerios boxes they had and the Honey Nut Cheerios were, um, I don't know if they're getting ready for Mother's Day, they were like mom, friend, amigo, amiga, something like that. That's what the boxes were. Uh, that's what they had. They did not have TXT. So I will keep an, a lookout for that, keep an eye out. Put that on the grocery list to have Wayne keep an eye out when he goes shopping. Then after that, I just uh, came home and I visited with my mom for a good hour, hour and a half. That took time and so we had a really good visit. And then I came home <laughs> and had dinner and just kind of relaxed for the night. And then I'd gotten a phone call a couple days ago uh, that my appointment for today for acupuncture was going to be canceled, that the therapist wasn't going to make it in. So I had this morning free, which was good. This was my 8.30 a.m. appointment, so that was also good. That was the early one that got canceled. <laughs> so I had my morning free, and I've been up and about and doing things already, and it's just kind of like, all right, day is go-go-going. I haven't even gotten to my birthday messages on Facebook yet, so I'm going to get to that. But I also wanted to finish this video <laughs> and try to get this edited and up today. Uh, that's what's going on today. You see I have this beautiful salad. As I mentioned, my mom bought us birthday lunch, so uh, this will be the second time I'm having salad since having the colostomy. I didn't even really have it with the ileostomy. There were like twice I kind of shredded up some lettuce and put it on my plate with a couple blueberries and walnuts and I had that and that was fine. And then about a month ago or so I think I bought a salad, actually ready-made salad from Meyer, which also had uh, the fruit in there and the nuts and that went well. Body could tolerate it. So we're gonna see. This, this is my favorite salad from Panera. The um, poppy seed. I forget the name of it. I just know it's poppy seed. Strawberry. It's like strawberry chicken poppy seed or chicken strawberry poppy seed. And uh, like I said, it's one of my favorites. That's every time I go there, that's what I eat. And then I haven't eaten salad for the last year. <laughs> except for that other one. So this will be the second time. I'm hoping the body will tolerate it well so I can go back to eating this again because, again, it's really good. I love it. Let me know if you like eating at Panera, what your favorite food is from there. My daughter likes the... It was a turkey avocado BLT, but they changed that up and they're now making it a grilled chicken avocado BLT, of which she doesn't like the avocado part, which is fine. The rest of it is good, but... Today she was like, ah, I like the turkey one better. It's not an option anymore though, so, so be it. I am going to go enjoy my salad now. I hope you guys are doing well, feeling well. Thank you again for joining me for this video and keep it positive, go make it a great day. Bye-bye. It is so delicious, yum, I'm hungry.